In this video you will learn about Smart Scout, which is a software for Amazon sellers to help in their product research phase. Uh, Smart Scout is a data analytics tool. They can provide you information about different brands, their revenues, uh, their expansion in different marketplaces. Not only about uh, different brands, but also about categories and subcategories of Amazon, you can see what revenue each category does and subcategory and you can analyze and get your ideas for your products to sell. Besides that, uh, Smart Scout has a great database of Amazon sellers around the globe so you can see maybe who is selling on Amazon in your neighborhood. Smart Scout um, has an offer for Orange Click viewers. Check the link below, and uh, the coupon code is Orange Click. You will get uh, $50 off your subscription. And uh, this video is part of the Demo Mondays video series where we invite different Amazon software creators and we ask them to present their solutions just like this on the screen. So today our guest is Smart Scout. Hello, Michael. Could you please introduce us to Smart Scout and tell us how does it help Amazon sellers? Awesome. Thank you for your time. Uh, so, Smart Scout, we are data analytics for Amazon sellers. Whether you're brand new to selling or very advanced, we have tools that will help you find better opportunities to sell, as well as perfect the current opportunities that you're already that you're already selling. Um, so our, we have international tools, we can kind of help all stages specifically we we focus on product research tools. Um, so if you whether you're looking to launch a private label brand or you're a wholesaler looking for more brands to source from or you're looking for arbitrage opportunities smart scout kind of is a one uh, one size fits all tool with some specificity for each of these sections. So you mentioned international uh, possibility for international sellers. Uh, so which uh, regions are you covering at the moment? Uh, like North America, Europe, e something more? Yep, yep. So current, currently we pull data from the UK marketplace, the Italy marketplace, the Germany, most of the European marketplaces, as well as Mexico, India, and Canada. All right. And of course, you already said that this tool is at uh, suitable for any level of Amazon seller. Perfect. So I think we are ready to jump on your screen and see how does it work and how we can use it. Fantastic. So welcome to Smart Scout. Um, we're going to start with some some high level data here. So we have our seller map. This currently is showing us the top 1000 sellers that sell in the US marketplace. Um, if I drag over here, we're going to see a, a few in Europe. Um, and um, if we zoom out even further, we should have a couple in China as well. Um, so these are all the top 1000 sellers in the US marketplace. And for example, here is Home and Party. They do $9 million a month and they are located in Santa Fe, New Mexico. If I click on them, we can see what products they sell as a seller um, and what their buy box percentage is, what their revenue is, and then what brands they sell. Um, so we now know that these three brands likely are owned by this company and we know where this company is based. Um, we can do more research into each of these brands individually and see what their products are. We can see kind of a dashboard of, of what their average cost is, what their brand score is, what keywords they're on, just really quick insight into what their brand is and what their brand strategy is. Um, so that's, that's just a starting from the seller map. So it's super valuable just for getting quick analysis of of where where things are um specific, specifically in your community i know people who what they've done is they've looked at sellers around them and they found sourcing opportunities because they've discovered that everyone's selling a similar brand they've discovered that that brand actually located close to them and they've started sourcing from that brand directly themselves so for wholesalers it can be very valuable or if you're someone who sells to amazon brands it's very valuable to find amazon sellers and figure out how to target them. Moving on, we also have the seller search. Seller search tool is very similar to the seller map tool. 
but instead it's just easy for me to filter through over 900,000 Amazon sellers. Um, people who use this, if, if you do Amazon wholesale, it's really easy to understand strategies. Um, for example, I serve here. I can see that they're doing 61 million in sales on Amazon. I can see how many brands they're selling, how many different ASINs they're selling and where they're located. I can dive in and I can see all of the brands that they're selling. And then maybe if, if I'm a wholesaler, maybe there's opportunities and I can see what their brand percentage estimate is. So in other words, what, um, what percentage of the buy box are they consistently having across the full brand? Um, so they're, they're pretty dominant in lots of these. They probably have relationships with lots of these companies. Um, and then there's some that they're, that, that they're not as dominant on. And maybe there's opportunities like for Garden of Life for you to hop in and start selling that product. So this is just a really quick way to dive in and see the full landscape of opportunities that there are just by looking at other sellers. But also if you're looking for a specific type of seller that you want to do business with, you can look through, like I said, 900,000 of them. You can sort them by country. Um, so for example, like let's, let, um, let's see. Um, the best sellers in Italy and what they're doing. And we can really quick understand the marketplace. So if you're looking to explore other marketplaces, it's really helpful to hop on and see, okay, well, where are some of these sellers based out of? And if I want to see how they're performing in their own marketplace of origin, I can actually go ahead and click on Amazon Italy. And I can see all the sellers that are selling in Amazon Italy and how well they're performing. Um, yeah, really powerful, really quick analysis. And uh, how this information could be useful for FBA sellers, for private label ones? Yes, um, great question. So uh, I was about to step into some of our some of our FBA tools. So let's so let's actually slide over to brands. And so um, I'm I'm just going to pick this brand for now. And I can actually pull up, it's called the Marketplaces Tools. And what it does is it shows me across marketplaces how well a brand is performing. So if you have a competitor that you're working, that you're that you're competing with. So if this, if, if um, Maybelline New York was your competitor, and maybe you're just selling in what in the US, you can hop on and you can see across marketplaces how well they're performing and seeing, okay, well, which marketplaces should I target? And you can get a quick analysis of like cross border sales really fast. So just super powerful in that way. Like if, if I was, if I did have a competitor to this, then I'm definitely looking at Canada and Italy and Germany and Spain for sure. And, uh, and France is actually the top. Well, it really goes Canada and then France. And I probably wouldn't have known that off the top of my head, but doing this analysis, I can understand which markets are best suited for my product. Um, next, we're going to dive into more of our private label tools. So this is our subcategory tool. This is extremely powerful. We're going to go back to the Amazon US for this. What we can see is what are the largest subcategories on Amazon. And then we can actually dive in and understand those subcategories better. So home and kitchen is $5.5 billion a month on Amazon. Um, let's go to health and household. There's 3.5 billion a month on Amazon. Well, let's start peeling back the layers a little bit because within this subcategory, there's 1,133 subcategories. So household supplies, there's 900,000 in sales, 900 million in sales a month of household supplies. And then paper and plastic, um, 300,000. Paper towels does seven, this uh, 70, 70 million, sorry, 70 million a month in sales. Um, toilet paper does 51 million a month in sales. Um, let's go to food storage bags. So if you're like looking to like maybe launch an alternative type of like bag or something that you can look and see what your competitor is doing 
And specifically like, okay, well, what's food storage doing in general? Um, let's actually go over to household cleaning and let's look at upholstery cleaners. So just fabric cleaners alone do 700,000 a month. If you have something that you'd like to do in that area, cleaning tools is probably more like it for private label. So just in mopping, there's 15 different groups and mopping accessories does 16 million a month. So the idea is instead of you finding an idea and then kind of attaching a couple of keywords together to find an opportunity, what we're doing here is we're analyzing markets. So now I know that mop heads and sponges does 7 million. And if I want to step into this, if I want to compete in this area, I now know what I need to do to like make, to make that happen. Now let's, um, let's look at, um, just exploring, let's look at dusting tools. So feather dusters. So I'm looking to join the feather dusters market. Well, if I look at brands, it's going to show me what the market share is on each feather. So the, so the Swiffer does 1.9 million in this subcategory and they have 28% of the market share. But there's plenty of smaller ones that are doing quite well in this. And we can do some analysis of what products exist in this subcategory. The idea is that I'm analyzing the opportunity before I, launch, before I look to launch a product. I want to understand who the competitors are in this space, what they're doing. Um, we can look and see what's the historic growth of this space. Um, just feather dusters overall, how well it's done, who the, who the leading brand is, and then how well they've all competed over time. Um, so I can see overall as a market, it's consistently grown over the last two years. There's, there's been a little bit of a fluctuation, but um, it's, it's not on a negative trend. So that's positive for me to know before going in. Uh, and then I can pick any one of these any one of these brands um, and I can do some kind of a, some more dive into how would I compete with this brand. So for example, extender reach. Now we can actually pull up their, well, let's pull up products again. And if I'm looking to build out, if I want to compete with Swiffer, um, I'm going to come over and use yet yeah, another one of our tools. So kind of for the next phase, I'm trying to understand who is buying the Swiffer and why they're buying the Swiffer. So I'm gonna come over to our traffic graph tool. So what we've done here while we're waiting, we've reverse engineered the way that, uh, that frequently bought together items work on Amazon. I'll explain that a little bit more once this loads. Okay. So here is our item. Each of the purple lines are items that are currently directing traffic towards this item. In other words, if I bought this product today um, or any of these products, if I bought this product today, it would recommend as a frequently bought together item, this product. And then yellow is products that Swiffer is sending people to. Um, so here, let's, let's, let's make a picture here. So we have traffic going to here and coming from down here. So if I'm looking to compete with this product, what I should be doing is I should be placing ads on every one of these products that have already been identified as Amazon as a source of organic traffic for this product. Um, by using this technique, you can get a leg up on a brand that might be more established than yours because you understand better where their traffic's coming from. Um, so that's, that's how I would go about using this, this tool. Um, we have lots of other tools that can help you, whether you're private label, wholesale. I like to highlight this one because um, just uh, it helps you also to think a little bit differently about your products, about your process, and spot new opportunities. Maybe understanding your customers a little bit better, I guess, is what I'm trying to say here. Interestingly enough, uh, Burt's Bees uh, lip gloss is actually sending traffic to this product. So that's, that's kind of fun. 
it's a, a good idea to get some uh, even maybe ideas what you can sell with your product together as a bundle maybe or you know as a package as a gift package or something so nice exactly if you're looking to to package anything together you can get a quick idea of what's already related um, i know lots of people who've launched a private label brand by simply looking at two products that are consistently sending each other traffic and then complementing them with another product that consistently gets ordered with that as well and making a bundle is a great way to go about it um, so yeah, as far as bundling tools, there's nothing quite like this, um, as well as just going extra steps in and understanding how else everything interconnected in your space. Um, so household goods are, are a great example of that. So that's just a couple examples of how we can dive in and understand, um, understand the world of Amazon a little bit better. Our goal is to give you the best information so that you can make the right decisions. For your business going forward and smart uh, uh, the traffic graph works for international markets as well if we change the marketplace right um yes that's great another quick thing to highlight with subcategories is just how fast you can figure out kind of where where things are changing and where things are heading in the amazon space um and one of the best ways of knowing is we actually have the seller revenue share so this shows what percentage of sales on Amazon are go going to third-party sellers like us versus directly to Amazon or 1P. Really helps you to understand a space before even hopping in. Like books, for example, Amazon sells a, um, Amazon sells a lot of books. They're up to 42% of the revenue share. Whereas there's others where it's, let's compare it like arts, crafts, and sewing, it's pretty dominant that it's Amazon sellers that are selling those products. So if you're, still exploring, still figuring out what to sell, or if you already are selling something, you're trying to figure out how to expand your subcategory, it's a great tool to kind of get a feel for where you're going. So here's our ad spy tool. Um, and this connects well with our other tools. So as you're, as you're understanding a brand, so let's go back to, let's go back to this brand. So we're, we're, we're looking into Swiffer. We're trying to figure out, um, how to compete with them. So one way is we can snag these ASINs and then create a campaign. Um, another way though, is, is we can actually search for this brand um, in, our, in our ad spy tool. And we can see what search terms they're currently using to promote their products. So we can get a quick view of them on Amazon. And then we can see the search terms that they're using. Obviously, Swiffer is a very big brand, so they're going to be a, so they're going to be across very many different keywords. But we can see what the estimated cost per click is, how many products they have with ads, what their sponsored win rate is, and um, their sponsored video spend. So really quick, we can see where their priorities are by seeing what, like, are they are they doing videos? Is that something that they're consistently spending money on? Um, so super powerful to to figure out where uh, where they're positioned and how you are going to compete best with them going forward. Okay, so quick overview of some of our other tools that we have over here. So we have our our brands tool, which works similar to the seller tool. I can really quick analyze brands. Um, it's really powerful for seeing where revenue is coming from, average prices. I can search through categories. I can say that I want to see health and household. It's gonna show me the best health and household brands and how much revenue they're doing. It showed me instantly a list of 63,000 brands. I can filter by if Amazon's present or not. Um, if I'm looking to, to do business with brands. Um, I can look to see if Amazon's a dominant seller. If I don't want to deal with Amazon, I can actually filter out Amazon themselves and say, hey, I don't want to see brands where Amazon's around more than 15% of the time. And it's going to filter that selection for me. Um, and then our products tool works very much in the same way. We're going to see the top, um, I believe it's the top 15 million products. Nope, nope, top 43 million products on Amazon. 
and we can see how much revenue they're doing, how many units are being sold. So whether you're looking to analyze a seller, a brand, or a product, you can really quick get a view for what's happening in the space. Um, we went over the traffic graph earlier. Um, we have the ability to build collections. So if I want to save products for later, um, I can add them to a collection of mine, and then um, we can pull those up later and compare. It's really good for if you're comparing a couple different brands together or a couple sellers together, you can build out a collection and view that. Um, we have our sales estimator, or if you're just looking to find out how many how many sales you can get in toys and games at at eighty thousand. Then we know if you rank 80,000 toys and games, you're getting 93 sales a month. Um, supplier portal, where we can help you find, if you're looking for a specific type of product, we can connect you back to the supplier. And then our UPC scanner, which is where if you've gotten an Excel list, you can go ahead and upload that here and find the find products that are profitable based off of like, this is mostly used by our wholesale groups or arbitrage groups. You plug in price lists and you can see and optimize um, optimize your sales there. Um, last but not least, we have our FBA calculator. The FBA calculator shows you what modifications you need to make to your product in order for you to be able to decrease your FBA fee. Um, there have been times where you found very small changes that can be made to a product that save customers a dollar every sale. And when you're doing a couple thousand sales a month, that money really adds up for you. Um, we have plenty of education resources on the website as well. We're super happy to hop on a call and answer any questions you have. Um, and that's a quick overview of Smart Scout and how it can help you search a little smarter, not harder. All right, a lot of unique features. Uh, I haven't seen uh, other tools having this kind of graph and possibility to drill down into sellers and see their revenues. So what is your pricing uh, plans? Uh, what, what are you offering for sellers? Yeah, so our prices start at $97 a month for most of our wholesale features, and then $187 a month for most of our private label features, which include those wholesale features. Um, we do have a special offer for the group today, um, and that's if you use the coupon code orange click, all one word, um, that'll be $50 off your first month when you sign up for Smart Scout. And uh, you will find the link below in the description. And actually, are you planning uh, to release any other interesting features in the near future for your users? We always have new tools in the pipeline. Um, we, uh, I think a year ago, we only had three of the tools that you just saw. So we're always rolling out new features. There's new exciting stuff coming out almost every month. Perfect. Thank you very much, Michael. And again, the link is below to sign up and to get uh, 50, $50 off. Thank you very much and good luck in your business. Bye bye. I hope Smart Scout features can help you to improve your product research and find your next winning Amazon private label product to sell on Amazon. Uh, don't forget to check the link below and get 50%, uh, $50 off your subscription with a orange click coupon code and now I would like to invite you to watch other video uh, where um, Sharon Evan talks how she is finding products on to sell on Amazon.